Hi, this is just a little uh, recording to show you, make you aware of a feature that you may not have been aware of in, uh, in MRI. So if you go to MRI, uh, there are some built-in queries that you can do when you run a report, and it uh, allows you to sort and, uh, and select the information you're looking for. So let's go and do a couple of these. Let's say you're looking at, uh, just to give you an example, let's say you're doing an aged receivable listing. So if you just uh, run a typical one for these properties here, this is what it looks like. Okay, so you get this, yada, yada, yada. But let's say that you were really just interested in, say, um, uh, the income category 200 here, and you did, really didn't care about the rest. You can actually select for that. So hidden over here under Style, if you go to Query, you can go over here and you can select. So let's say you're looking for, you go to Income Categories, and you look for the inch code and you can say it contains, you can say it's exactly this, or it doesn't contain, or is in list, or what have you. But let's say is exactly 200. And then you want it to add that. Now when you do that, you'll notice that this right here shows a little queue, meaning that there's a query that is running in the background. When you run this same report again, and it's just uh, doing that right now, you can see that all you're going to see is something much smaller, only a three-page report, and it's only showing the 200. So that's just an example of how you can uh, how you can tailor your reports. You could also do it by type of you know contains the name uh, of who the who, who the tenant is or what have you. Let's do another one. Let's say you were doing a check register, and uh, let's say you just ran a check register for this particular property. This particular one is quite small for this range of time. There are three checks, but let's say you wanted to look just at the ones that are over five hundred dollars on each line item. So you could go back in here, and if you go Style, and you could go Query, and you go here to this, and you look for, um, let's say you look for the Invoice History, which you can go to Other Tables, and here's Invoice History, and the Invoice Field, I think it's the Item Amount, right here. And let's say it's uh, is greater than five hundred dollars. And once again, you can see that the little queue here is blink, is is lit up. So we'd be looking for anything over five hundred dollars, and there you go, just the one. So that gives you an idea. I uh, hope that's helpful. And over now.